So the US Open starting in a few days time and the draw is supposed to be coming out in the next 24 hours. Let's go have a look at the players that are not playing the US Open. Also the players that are coming in with injuries because there's actually a long injury list going into the last slam of the year. Starting on the WTA side of things, we have three withdrawals at the moment with Kostea having to pull out. So did Zhu and Von Drusova, who's probably the most high profile player. Last year's Wimbledon champion, not able to play due to injury. So not a long list at this stage, but those are the three. And the ATP, only a couple of players. We've got obviously Rafa Nadal pulling out of the tournament and Cam Norrie, he is out with injury. So he's not gonna be playing in this one, unfortunately as well. Now let's get to the injured players because these players could pull out over the next couple of days and there's some big, big names in this one. Starting with Demonor on the men's side. He's had that hip problem since Wimbledon. We haven't seen him throughout this whole swing. He's lost a lot of points as well, unfortunately, because he did so well last year this time. Her catch after getting injured at Wimbledon, playing in Cincy, then having to withdraw from the quarterfinals against Tiafo. So both of those guys, big question marks. Ons Jabur, she just pulled out of a tournament last week as well in Cincy. So got to keep her on the injury list. Zachary, she's had a shoulder problem. Looks like she's getting back into it, but still, there's an injury concern going into the US Open. Collins is playing this week, which is good to see. She had a retirement loss to Sviantec at the Olympics, so definitely got to watch out for Collins. Krajikova, she's pulled out the last couple of tournaments. Hasn't really been up there since Wimbledon, so... Hopefully the Wimbledon champion does make it to the US Open. Madison Key's another one. So big concern there because she has had a few injuries over the last couple of months. As a ranker as well, having to pull out late last week in Cincy. So massive names there. Some Grand Slam champions, a lot of top 10 players there, or even former top 10 players in that list. And it's going to be very interesting to see how many of these players actually make it to their first rounds on Monday. So there it is. Not a very long withdrawal list, but a long injury list. And that's just the names that are the big profile ones. There's a lot of players coming to the last land with injury mainly because of the Olympics. I mean, I don't want to blame the Olympics. It was such a great tournament and such a historic event, but Wimbledon to clay to hard courts is really affecting these players and having to play those extra matches is really hurting some of these players. Unfortunately, we're probably going to see some of these players dropping out over the next couple of days as well. I hope I'm wrong, but it usually is the case that if they're injured, some one or two will drop off at the end. But let me know down in the comments below who you're going to miss the most that's pulled out of the US Open. Of course, Rafa not being there. Is he going to play next year? Can he please play next year? Is this going to be his second last year? And he's going to do one more US Open. I don't know if he's going to make it back next year. But who knows? Maybe we can dream. But there it is. That is the injury list and the withdrawal list going to the US Open.